Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with the Simon Says Stamp March 2018 card kit. Here I'm going to give you a quick look at what was included in the kit. As a quick reminder, Lynn Griffin and Pip Z, you were the winners of my ephemera giveaway from the last 10 cards one kit. I haven't heard from you, so please just email me. My email address is in the info below and let me know your address and I'll get your goodies in the mail to you. So jumping into card number one, I'm going to use this pretty wood grain paper from my background and I'm trimming that out using my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. Here I've got some ATG gun and I'm going to attach that to the top of this green card base. Then off to the side there you'll see I've trimmed this pink and white floral paper in half. So this measures the full uh, six and a half by three inches. And I'm gonna score that in the middle at three and a quarter. And then I'm taking this and I'm gonna score at a quarter of an inch on either end. And then along one of the shorter ends, I'll do another quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch on all three sides and at three and a quarter in the middle. And I'm just gonna fold all of those down. I was sort of figuring this out as I went along, so you'll see I will take it to my trimmer there in a minute, and I'm gonna take off a quarter of an inch on the end that I did not put the extra score line on. Here I'm just taking this sticker. I'm gonna use that on the front of my seed pouch. I wanted to make sure that my measurements were gonna work out all right. So here I'm trimming off this extra quarter of an inch, and again, that's from the side that does not have the fold down. And next I'm gonna take my eighth inch score tape, and I'm gonna place that on one half of each of those quarter folds along either side. And then I'm gonna place that along one edge of the shorter end of the seed pouch. And this will be the end that folds down over top to close it. Now I had some spare seed beads, so I wanted to give this a little bit more of a realistic sound when you picked up the card. So I've just added a few of those in there. I'm gonna pull off the uh, backing of the score tape and I'll fold this up. And then I'll take the backing off of the short end and I'll fold that down to create my pouch. Next I've got this sticker tag. I'm just going to trim the top off of that. I want it to look like a seed pouch, not like a tag. And I'll place that on the top of my packet. And then I've got this additional sticker that says Feed and Seed Co. I'm going to place that over the name of the flower. I've added some half inch score tape to the back of that. I'll peel away the backing and then place that on the front of my card. For the inside of my card, I'm using a Nina panel trim to four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment bloom where you're planted using Lawn Fawn Peachy Cane ink. I use this ink throughout the video. Um, I completely forgot there was a pink and purple ink that came in the kit, um, so I did not end up using any of those, but I, I will add them to my stash to use later. 
So there you saw I added one additional sticker, those rain boots with the flowers coming out of them at the bottom corner, and I'm gonna attach this on the inside using my ATG gun. And that will complete card number one. For card number two, I'm gonna do a little bit of watercoloring with that bunny, so I'm stamping with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink on some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I just left this coloring in really quickly here. It's very simple. I use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, and I will have the exact colors I used listed on my blog post for you. Next, I'm gonna create a background using some scraps. So I've got just regular computer paper here and I'll use my ATG gun to stack these scraps together. I'm gonna to go ahead and use this um, top part of one of the papers. Even though it has that hole in it, I know I'm gonna position my watercolor paper over top of it, so it's perfectly fine to use. And then I'll trim this out and I'm gonna run it through my Big Shot using one of my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies. Then I trimmed down my Bristol cardstock with the bunny and this ended up measuring three and a half by two and a half inches. I'm gonna attach that panel to the top of a green card base. Next, I wanted to stamp a sentiment next to that bunny, so I went with You Make Me Hoppy, and I'm gonna use Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm gonna pop that panel up using some Scotch foam tape. I'll place that on the front of the card base. And then I grab some of my Nouveau glue and I'm gonna attach one of the pom-poms that came in the kit. I think that's really adorable. For the inside of the card, I'm using this sentiment, thanks for always being so delightful. And again, I'll use my intense black ink. And then I wanted to add this little carrot to go with the bunny. So I'm gonna stamp that three times along that bottom corner there. And I think I forgot to say, but this is of course a Nina panel trim to four by five and a quarter. I'll use my ATG gun and attach that on the inside of the card base. And that will complete card number two. So for card number three, I'm gonna be working with a gatefold card. And I wanted to make this look like these were shutters opening onto a window. So I'm gonna use this wood grain paper. What I ended up doing was I trimmed the paper down to five and one eighths inches and then I split it down the middle. And then from the middle, because I wanted that seam in the center to meet up, those I measured out one and seven eighth inch. So each panel ends up measuring five and one eighth tall and one and seven eighth inches wide. And then I'm gonna meet those in the middle. So I'll use my ATG gun and attach those to either side. And I just make sure to match that up in the middle. And then for the inside, I'm using this additional piece of pattern paper that had the awning on it. And I trimmed that out. I wanted it to look more like a windowsill and less like a storefront. 
So I just trimmed around and that ended up measuring three and a half by five inches. I placed that on the center there with my ATG gun and then I'm adding one of the cut aparts that says when you love what you have, you have everything you need. I thought that was really pretty. And then for an additional sentiment, I went with the I love you and I'm stamping that off to the side in Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Now usually when I do a gatefold card, I'll make a belly band to close it up, but I thought it would be pretty to use this twine. So I just wrapped that around a few times. It's just generic twine that I had picked up at Tuesday morning and then tied a bow. And that will complete card number three. For card number four, I'm going to create a background using this black word paper and this white wood paper. And I'm just attaching those on top of one another there. I'm going to run that through with my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. Final measurements ended up being uh, the black is about two and a quarter and the white is one and a half inches. There you'll also see I'm using the Essentials by Ellen Many Thanks script die and I ran that through using MFT Lemon Drop cardstock. I'm going to place that panel there on the top of this cream card base and this is one of the card bases that came in the kit. And then I had this scrap piece of wood grain paper which measures about one and one eighth inches wide uh, and I'm going to attach that using some scotch foam tape to get a li little bit of dimension there. Finally I'm going to take uh, my Ranger multi matte medium and I'll just place that in dots behind that script saying and I'll pop that on top of the wood grain panel. For the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp directly on the card base and I'm using the sentiment, you bring sunshine to a gloomy day. First I'm going to stamp this using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and what I'm doing here is using some post-it tape to mask off the sunshine portion of that. It can be a little tricky. And I did go ahead and actually stamp the black portion twice just to get a nice crisp ink. And then I'm going to use Lawn Fawn Sunflower ink to stamp the sunshine. And I'll again mask off the sides there where the ink was with some post-it tape. And that will complete card number four. For card number five, I'm going to start by trimming out a pink panel using my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die. And then I've got the a portion of the Simon Says Stamp bag that the kit actually comes in inside the box. And I'm going to run that through using my reverse confetti flower wrap die. And this gives you that nice um, pinked edge around the top and also score lines to create a pretty flower wrap. So I wanted to place some flowers inside there and I thought that this bouquet inside the jug would be perfect, um, but it didn't quite fit because of the way that the bag tapers. So I'm just trimming that off there and then I'll peel the flowers off the backing and stick that inside the wrap. Next I wanted to create a tag to put on the wrap. So I'm going to use an extra piece of the tag paper and I'm just placing that on some scrap cream cardstock and then I'm going to fussy cut around that so I'll get the tag shape. Here I'm using my eyelet tool just to uh, place a hole at the top of that. I did not put a brad or anything on that, it's way too small. And I'm stamping this sentiment, your kindness is inspiring, using Lawn Fawn Peachy Keen ink. Next, I've cut off um, just a length of that same twine that I used on the window card. I added some ATG to the back just to help hold that. And I'm gonna wrap it around a few times to create a tie.
I'm going to go ahead then and knot that in the center. And then I'll string on the tag and I'll knot it again and then I just um, cut off the tails. So next I'll attach that pink panel to the top of a cream card base. It's hard to choose, but this was one of my uh, favorite pieces of paper that came in the kit. And then I'll use my ATG gun to attach the bouquet on top of that. For the inside of the card, I wanted to use the sentiment, thank you. So I'm just doing some stamp surgery there and cutting the S off of the thank stamp. You can easily put that back on again. And I'll stamp that again using Lawn Fawn Peachy Cane ink. Finally, to finish that up, I grabbed an additional sticker with this branch of leaves and just added that coming from the top of the card. And that will complete card number five. Here is a quick look back at the cards from today. You'll find additional photos as well as a full list of supplies at my blog post linked in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.